Ask Masios. It's a matter of life and breath. A look at the halftime statistics, and you see a relatively low field goal percentage for North Carolina State, 36 versus 42 for the Bruins. Yeah, I think that's an indication of uh, the kind of tenseness that's in this game is that both these teams, are, which are pretty good shooting teams, and uh, the shooting percentages are pretty low, but the rebound is uh, very high. UCLA down by 14 in the rebounds, and Bill Walton will not start the second half. He will not start. Grolinger will come out, and Tom Burleson will start for North Carolina State. So the young sophomore from La Mesa is really going to get himself baptized here this afternoon, isn't he? For North Carolina State, they're on the floor. Walton sits down. For the fact, it is Burleson 24, Thompson 44, Stafford 42, Rivers 10, Tau 25, UCLA, Myers 34, uh, Wilkes 52, Drawlinger 35, Turgovich 25, and Curtis 22 in the second half is about to get underway. What do we get? Center violation called against the Bruins. So the ball goes to North Carolina State. Bill Walton is not in the lineup, remember. He has four personal fouls. Tom Burleson does have three personals. He is on the floor. The UCLA Bruins last tasted defeat January 23rd, 1971. And they turn it over to the Bruins. So Keith Wilkes, who's gone all the way with 13 points in the ball game, brings it inbounds to Tom Curtis, number 22. T.C. from Florida. Passes inbound to Drollinger. Myers on the follow. Dave Myers and the Bruins regain the lead, scoring the first points of the second half. Bill Walton with four personals, not started the second half. In case you don't know, you only have five. Little five, seven, Monty Tau knocks one in. On the break to Myers. He scores, so they swap baskets, and the Bruins lead by one, Myers with seven. Here comes Tau again. He pumps it up. Rebound goes to Turgovich. The pace is furious to start the second half. Keith Wilkes missed it, tip in, good, Rollinger. Well, Myers gets credit for it. Myers got it. Myers coming out serious to start the second half, didn't he? 38-35, three for UCLA. As we get going, Stoddard, number 42 for North Carolina State is in the corner. Myers comes out to check him. David Thompson, number 44, goes inside to the big guy, Burleson, seven foot four inches high, hooks it up, missed the shot. Rebound, Rollinger. Carolina State led 33-32 at halftime. Bruins have regained the lead by three, 38-35. In the opening moments, Drollinger shot good. He's a good shooter, I know he is. I've seen him work in practice. Bruins have scored eight straight points, eight unanswered points as Steve Noose comes in and started, goes out for the Wolfpack, and the Bruins lead by five, and Walton is beside himself on the bench. Oh, he's something. 5-7. Off to Steve Noose. Oh, missed it. Rebound. Burleson. Missed it. Drollinger gets the rebound. They missed some tough shots. Uh, the shots that look like they may fall for. A little too much spin on that one. We're in the second half of play. UCLA leading by 5, 40 to 35. Wilkes inside against Thompson. Gets him up. Gets the basket. Great play by Wilkes. Beautiful move by Keith Wilkes. Tau getting pressure in backcourt. Noose, the frontliner, comes back to help. Tau, he's the boss man out there for the pack. He runs the show. Bollinger slaps it down. We got a foul on Myers of UCLA. Time call by Norm Sloan, North Carolina State. Second foul on Myers. 17.30 to go in the ball game. UCLA has regained the lead. 42-35 over North Carolina State. Europeans can't all agree on the best European car, but the European car makers have chosen their favorite spark plug, Champion. Champions are installed by more European car makers than any other spark plug. But Champion is not just a leading European spark plug, it's the number one best-selling spark plug in the whole world, because Champion's got the right spark plug for virtually every car in the world. Whatever you drive, when you tune up your car, remember, we've got your plug. Nice to see you. Thank you. 
Hey, that's quarterback Bob Greasy wearing my slacks. They're King's Road double knits, and only $17 and $18. With Travera polyester double knit and a stretch band roll waistband, you'll make every move comfortably. He sure has taste. Choose coordinated sweaters and shirts to go with today's patterns and colors. King's Road, the name for today's fashion look. Only in the men's store at Sears. All right, we have 17.30 to go in the second half in the ball game. North Carolina State with the ball, go into the big guy, Burleson, who sets the lineup, says Noose, puts it up, missed the shot, rebound, Drollinger. Tommy Curtis brings it out, number 22. Myers, number 34. Wilkes is 52. Turkovic, that's the same lineup that was on the floor when time was called. North Carolina State on defense. Wilkes misses. The rebound goes to Furleson. Out to Tau. Noose breaks. Thompson with him. Tau holds it. Goes to Thompson, intercepted by Wilkes. We've got a two-on-two. Wilkes takes it in. Ball is knocked away by David Thompson. Great play. He's got all the, all the tools. Brilliant basketball player. 42-35, UCLA by seven. They run off 10 unanswered points. Thompson pops it up in the air. Missed the shot, got a foul call. Should be Wilkes. Yes. Now here's that uh, great steal by Thompson. Reaches right at, just as he puts it down right there. Knocks it loose. And he really is on the ball. He's, uh, he's always he's, he's rebounding good, and uh, he just chases that ball pretty well without losing sight of the defensive man, all that. Started back in, Noose goes out. Change for the pack. Wolf pack 0 for 6 from the field in the second half. David Thompson now with nine points in the ball game as he makes the first of the two free throws. Fouled in the act of shooting. He misses the second on the rebound fight. It goes to the Bruins. Well, they're tough on that backboard. 42-36, six-point lead for UCLA wearing the fight. Turkovich inside the Drollinger. Whirls and shoots over Burleson. Gallagher looking better as the minutes go by. And that's an eight-point UCLA lead. And Terry, that's the biggest lead they've had in the ballgame. Up, Thompson. Good. Very shot. He shoots a knuckleball. Did you see that? Didn't have a thing on it. Just split the time. Curtis inside Drawlinger. Over Burleson. Missed that one. Out of the bounds by Drawlinger. Now, Jones is not a bad shooter, and then he's left-handed, which uh, throws you, throws the guy off. He, now, he's not shooting well today, but uh, you can see by the by the way he's shooting, he's not a bad shooter. That's what I was going to say. Pass <laughs> ahead to Mo Rivers. He stops in traffic. Leave it back to Tyler. They go inside to the big guy. Burleson got it. Now, got everybody out to set that play, and it worked for them. Four-point lead. You know, uh, a lot of people may not realize it, that uh, in college basketball, you cannot dunk the ball. You have to shoot it. And these big guys, it's kind of tough. They have to pull back to shoot a shot uh, in close. Myers outside. David Myers hits one. The Bruins go back to a six-point lead. Playing very well. Myers trying to steal the ball. Knocks it out of bounds. Boy, is he hustled. Dave Myers, number 34 for UCLA. Playing a tough ball game. He scored 11 points in the game, and eight of them have come here in the second half when they really needed it to get back in the hunt. They've taken the lead. Burleson misses, and the rebound to Stoddard. On the baseline, inside Thompson. Back to Stoddard. Good ball handling. And another assist for David Thompson. Bruins lead by four with 14 minutes and 50 seconds to play. In the game, two unbeaten powerhouses. Myers outside, inside Wilkes. Ball stolen by Rivers. Good play by Moe. Great play. Bruins lead by two as Rivers now totals eight points in the ball game. 14 and a half to go in it. The officials are Louis Soriano out of the Pac-8, Fred Heichel out of the Atlantic Coast Conference, Keith Jackson and Bill Russell with you on ABC's Wide World of Sports. Wilkes, they get a little tougher on Keith here in the second half. Thompson knocks it loose, comes over here, he can't save it. Hello there, David. Would you mind getting out of my lap? <laughs> 
So Bill Walton sits on the bench. He's become the principal cheerleader for the UCLA Bruins with four personal fouls. 14-13 to go in a ball game. UCLA 46, North Carolina State 44. Before you choose an electric shaver, compare heads close up. The Sunbeam Shave Master Shaver has two kinds of whisker traps. For your stubby whiskers, it has holes, plus rows of slots to pick up the soft, flexible hairs. But look at most any other shaver. Some have only holes, others only slots. So you could shave with two shavers, or a Sunbeam Shave Master with both holes and slots, designed to get all the beard you've got. It's that simple. Cougars on the move up to a whole new class. The same size class as last year's Monte Carlo and Grand Prix, but only in size. For 74, Cougar is in a class by itself in luxury and elegance. Plush bucket seats, stylish new dash, optional moonroof, distinctive new opera window and Landau roof, steel belted radial standard, Mercury Cougar like nobody else's car. In slow motion, let's watch the replay and the ball handling of North Carolina State. As David Thompson went up to shoot, he saw uh, someone his teammates free underneath, and he uh, another contribution. Always look for the high percentage shot. Mm, he's really it's first time I've seen him in, in real tough competition, and he's just every bit as good as they told us he was. And there's the matchup between Thompson and Wilkes. Keith has the edge in points, but look at the rebounds. Just about even. All right, here we go. Bruins and White have the ball. They send out Myers, Drolinger, Turgovich, Curtis, and Wilkes. North Carolina State sends Moeller, 40, Thompson, 44, Stoddard, 42, Rivers, 10, and Burleson, 24. Wilkes on the baseline. Shoots it up over Burleson. He is so smooth, and he's bigger than you think he is. And he, re and he really takes his time. Right. Looks like he says, well, I got all day. I guess I'll just shoot this one. He has 17 points. He's 8 out of 15 from the field. More than 19,000 watching here in the arena in St. Louis where UCLA won its seventh consecutive NCAA championship back in March, defeating Memphis State. Thompson followed his shot, drove in there. We've got a foul called on Tim Stoddard of North Carolina State. That is Stoddard's second personal foul, and it's the first team foul on the back here in the second half. So the Bruins will get the ball. Remember, you don't start shooting free throws in college ball as that young lady offers a prayerful posture. With 13.39 to go, you start shooting on the seventh team foul. Otherwise, we call them common fouls. There's the story of the score at this moment. It's not going to be a particularly high-scoring ball game. We've got a little trouble down with the, the net. Got all tangled up, so... Well, that's what shooters do to the net. They kind of mess it up. With, you know, when they don't hit anything with the bottom of it, they, they snap it a little bit. Wilkes forgot to bring the, the step ladder with them, too. Give us a chance to tell you in the Camellia Bowl, the national championship college division football game, Louisiana Tech defeated Western Kentucky by a score of 34 to nothing. Game seen earlier today on ABC. Well, we may have to have a time here and the boys get a real breather. Well, next Saturday, ABC, look at this. Look at the lady come in to save us. Well, we're going to watch the lady fix the basketball net and let's spend a moment with Jim McKay. Hello, I'm Jim McKay. You know, when we come to you next Saturday on Wide World of Sports, it'll be holiday time and that always means a very special wide world. This time, more different than ever, it's a circus. That's right, Billy Smart's Christmas Circus from England as a special holiday treat. Great acts from all over Europe. There'll be high wire acts and trapeze artists, the clowns, of course, and everything you'd expect from a real quality, big time circus with a Christmas accent. Also on next week's Wide World, a special report on the great record attempt to be made tomorrow at Shea Stadium in New York when O.J. Simpson of the Buffalo Bills goes after Jim Brown's all-time one-year NFL rushing record. All of this next Saturday on Wide World of Sports at 5 Eastern and Pacific Time, 4 Central. Hope you'll be with us. Now back to Keith Jackson, St. Louis. All right, Jim, thank you very much. And we go back to action here as the lady finally repaired the facilities and we can get the ball game underway. 48-44, UCLA leading. Tommy Curtis handling the ball. Myers is 34 and they go inside to Wilkes, who's the leading scorer. He's working against David Thompson and that's a day's work. Gets free on a pick, shoots and missed it. Rebound, Burleson. Ball stolen by Wilkes. He's everywhere. Wilkes and Thompson. 
absolutely outstanding. Small wonder they've got All-American after their name. Into the corner it goes to Turgovic. Turgovic has been quiet in scoring, but he's been most effective in the floor play. Drollinger playing in relief of Walden, who has four personals. Burleson's out there with three personals. And Drollinger trying to exercise it. Brooks takes it in. Beautiful play by Brooks. He has 19 points. And the Bruins lead by six again. Biggest margin of the game was eight. 12 minutes and 40 seconds to play. Inside Burleson against Drollinger. Burleson, 7-4, reverse. Oh, that was a good move for a guy, for, for the big guy there. But I think the story so far has been uh, the player Keith Wilson's second half. He's a uh, blocking foul called on Thompson. David Thompson hit with a blocking foul as he stepped in front and went down hard. Now, he, here's his move. Uh, now, what he does, he goes close to the basket so that when Burleson goes up, he can't get to it because the basket's in the way. And by the time he gets by, it's too late. All right, that's a second team foul on North Carolina State. The first on Thompson as Curtis pumps one up. Goes in, comes out. And a foul on Mo Rivers, and Curtis will shoot two. That second foul on Rivers, third team foul on the Wolfpack, and Monty Powell comes up to come back in. Watch him when he comes into the picture. He's five foot seven inches of dynamite. He doesn't realize how little he is. He played last year with a broken nose, a broken jaw, broken tooth, sore shoulder, jammed fingers. There wasn't any way they could keep him off the floor. Well, that's what happened to you out there, them big guys that side. You get all them things broken on you. Tommy Curtis is on the line now. Four points for Tommy. 51-46, five-point Bruin lead, 12-17 to go in the game. Tommy made them both. Bruins back to six as Tau works it up to Moeller. Look at that big Dave Myers. They try to pinch him on that press. Double up on him. Turkovich against Moeller now in front court. Noose goes inside to Burleson. Burleson gives the ball away to Thompson. Four point UCLA lead. Thompson now five points in the second half and 13 for the ball game. We've got 11.50 to play. Dollinger give it back to Turkovich on a great play. Ball got away, and it's North Carolina State ball. Turkovich just did not carry it high enough, and he was intimidated by the presence of the big guy, Burleson. I think Burleson got a piece of it. Time call. 11 minutes and 44 seconds to go in a ball game, and it's UCLA 52, North Carolina State 48. The travel mitt sport coat isn't stylish because golfer Johnny Miller is wearing it. It's made that way. There's the pick of the big plaid look. Or dressy solid blazers of Dacron polyester double knit for extra comfort. Choose yours from a great looking selection of today's styles and colors. Sears travel knit sport coats, under $60. Travel knit, the name for today's fashion look. Only in the men's store at Sears. The gifts that won't stay under your tree. Polaroid Square Shooter 2, strictly color. $24.95. Polaroid's color pack camera. Big pictures in color or black and white. $39.95. One of Polaroid's folding 400s. The camera made for the famous focus flash. They all give you Christmas pictures on Christmas Day. Is there any other way to take pictures? Again, slow motion. Watch the work of David Thompson, 44, in the red. He's got to go up and, and lay it up. And uh, he's got to power up and then uh, and have a soft touch. Oh. Now, you know, uh, this game is kind of tough for me to enjoy because I know what these guys are going through out there that are playing. There's not a moment you can relax. You, got, you know, you got a, a ball game like this that, that means so much and it's so close. And, and you know, you'd like to, to be able to relax just a little bit and, and neither coach uh, any of the players are able to relax. And I, I have an idea what um, Bill Walton's going through, too. Both teams warming up their shooting eye in the second half, as you saw. North Carolina State having trouble, but get it in the front court all right as Burleson holds against Drollinger. Good move, drive to the basket. Got it. And Max comes back. They trail by two. Nine points for Burleson. Bill Walton, let me say again, he is on the bench and has been there since 11 minutes to play in the first half with four personal fouls. But the Bruins have been doing pretty well with that sophomore from Walton's old high school, La Mesa, down near San Diego. Big sophomore's in there. Keith Wilkes 
Gets it up. Oh, look, he put Thompson away. Give it back to Dolinger, and he's hammered by Stoddard. Now it's Muller. Stoddard both there. Who got it? One of the tether. Dolinger will go to the line. That's the third person on Stoddard. He got the foul. And it's four team fouls on North Carolina State with 10 minutes and 51 seconds as Dolinger left hand to the free throw end to give the Bruins a three point cushion. Noose comes back in and Stoddard leaves for North Carolina State and Rivers will come back for the fact and Moeller will go out. I tell you, there's a couple of kids like Dolinger is one of them that uh, he must have a wealth of experience just from practicing. That's right, just surviving practice. Without the confidence being shattered a little bit. He's 7-1. He weighs about 212. He's 3 of 11 from the field and from the foul line. He gets his second point here as Bill Walton watches with Gary Cunningham, the assistant coach of the Bruins, sitting alongside of John Wooden, the head man. Here comes North Carolina State to the attack now with UCLA up by four. Ten minutes and 40 seconds to go. The Bruins come out of there with it. And Keith Wilkes, the ball hits the foot of uh, North Carolinian. And we have a foul on uh, David Thompson. That's two on David, and that's five team fouls on North Carolina State. Keep that in mind when you get to seven, you start shooting. And we've got 10.37 to go in the second half. UCLA has only two team fouls so far in the second half. Inside to Wilkes against Thompson. What a matchup. Wilkes won't go. Rebound Burleson. Burleson now beginning to assert himself on the backboard with Walton out of there. Tom! Beautiful play. Boy, he's an opportunist. Ten points for Monty Tao. Keith Wilkes gets it to front court, leaves it for Tommy Curtis, who's being tormented by Tao. Ten minutes to go in a ball game. Drollinger. Meyer. Won't go. Drollinger fights on the rebound with Burleson and off Drollinger. And here comes Walton back into the ball game. Drollinger goes out. Bill Walton comes back in. He played nine minutes in the first half and he hasn't played since, so he comes back at 9.53 to go in the game. And they lob it in deep into the corner to Noose. He gets a shot up and in. Front court. Walton goes deep. Pass to Bickville. Take it in. They're going to put some heat on Burleson now and try to make him they play some defense. Either that or pick up some more fouls. The obvious face State will take it right into their big guy. Here's Noose with it. He pumps it up. He missed the shot. The rebound Wilkes. The pass ahead to Curtis. Curtis gets it up. Personals on town. Time is called. Walton comes in and picks up the ball club. And we've got 9.05 to go. Score. Bruins 58, Pack 54. This is a Motocraft premium battery from Ford. It's got a tough, thin polypropylene case outside to make room for more starting power inside. To find out how tough they really are, we put Motocraft premium batteries into 155 Ford, Chevy, and Plymouth taxis in Atlanta and Boston. After 2 million tough taxi miles, only one battery is out of the running. When your car needs a battery, tell them to put in Motocraft. Motocraft quality auto parts from Ford. Taxi tested tough. It's good at toy stores. Appliance stores. Jewelry stores. Sporting goods, music stores. It's Master Charge, good in more places for more gifts than any other card. And best of all, it lets you stretch out your payments. So this Christmas, don't worry, relax. You've got Master Charge. Look at the individual statistics on Bill Walton, and it's easy to tell why you can easily get excited when Big Red comes into the fray, because his high school team won their last 49 straight. He has never tasted defeat at UCLA. And he'll talk to anybody. 
You know, uh, David Thompson's not having a good shoot today. And I think part of the reason uh, is uh, Keith Woods playing pretty good defense, but he's getting help from uh, Trigovich. Right. Okay, here's an important thing to tuck away. Tommy Curtis is on the line, makes the free throw, three-point play, 59-54. That was the sixth team foul on North Carolina State. With nine minutes to play in a ball game now, every time there's a foul, the Bruins will be going to the line. The Bruins have only two team fouls. Burleson shoots and misses over Walton. And Walton clears the rebound for the Bruins. So now the pressure's on the pack. Can the pack come back? They fought back time after time. Wilk shoots, gets it over Thompson. Keith Wilk. He's been brilliant. The Bruins have run off seven straight points, 61 to 54, after the pack caught him at 54. Spence is in the lineup now for North Carolina State. Spence handling the ball. Big guy will take it in. Good player. Missed the shot. Top rebound goes to Walton. Tommy Curtis now brings it out in front. Wilkes comes up. Walton comes up. Oh, really giving it to Curtis. He's done a good job on Tommy Curtis. Inside to Bill Walton. Back to Keith Wilkes. Wide open. Since Bill Walton came in onto the floor at the score tied at 54, UCLA has scored nine consecutive points and leads 63-54. Shot is forced up by David Thompson, but David got what he wanted with that great body control. He got the foul called on Keith Wilkes. That's three on Keith. I'll take another look. Now he's gonna, he gives him a good fake here. Gets him up in the air. And on the way down, he goes up. And uh, what you hope is that he goes in. Then you got a three-pointer. Right. At least the worst you come out with two free throws. David Thompson on the line. This is the first one. He has 13 points in the ball game. He's a brilliant basketball player. But he's been traveling in tough traffic as the Bruins have been dropping people off all day. Keith Wilkes dueling him. And Thompson is five for 17 from the field. He missed two free throws, and Bill Walton clears the backboard for UCLA. 7.50 to play in a ball game. The Bruins up by 63-54. Walton's hook shot is, oh, good. It comes off, and the rebound is outside to Mo Rivers. And the pack's running. Marty Tau. Well, this game has been played in surges. Now let's see if the back can keep it up. Now with 12 points, six out of nine from the field. The little guy, five, seven, one with a fighter. Let's back it up now, play out of what is called midcourt. Curtis takes it into fourth court on the baseline. Got it. And signed off on Wilkes and Walton, leaving Curtis some room, and Tommy exercised it. The Bruins are back on top by nine. Ten points for Tommy Curtis. Bill Spence is 30, pass intended for Thompson. Take it away, great play by Wilkes. He's having himself play a game, and he's, uh, he's one, I think, one of the, maybe the only player that's played the whole game. Ball knocked out of bounds by Mo Rivers. UCLA will keep it. Mark Moeller comes back in Monty Tau. Goes out for North Carolina State. 6-5-0 to play in a game. 6-50, 65-56, UCLA. Comes in to Bill Walton. Pete Turkovich is number 25. We haven't called his name a whole lot this afternoon, but he's played an outstanding basketball game. Uh, every man on the floor has played well. Targovich on a drive. Goes in, challenges both. Put in Walton. And there's your biggest lead of the ball game. 11 points, Walton has 10. 67-56, Burleson looks tired. Shot is up, it comes off. Targovich snaps it out of the air, and here comes UCLA on the run. Leave it for Curtis. He fires. It won't go. The rebound, David Meyer. Curtis, foul. It'll be a shooting foul because that's number seven and it's on Rivers. Take a look at Walton at work. Right there. Tex, you have to you have to be a disciplined player, Bill, to wait. Now he stood there and waited for the ball to go up and then read it, and then he went up and got it. Now an awful lot of people would go up early and probably miss it. Powell, number 25, comes back in, and Curtis will be on the line. One plus one. Seventh team foul on North Carolina State. You know, one is good. You know, patience is the, is the mark of the great players. It, it, it never seems to be in a real hurry to get things done. Tommy Curtis jumps a double, and it's 69-56, and we got a whistle and a call against Tim Stoddard. Wow. 
So Stoddard gets his fourth personal foul, and we're now on the bonus, so Keith Wilkes will go to the line. And there's a Bruin fan biting her fingernails. Hang on, honey, it'll get better. Or worse, it just depends on the matter. But something's going to change anyhow. Since Walton came into the lineup, the Bruins have outscored North Carolina State 16 to 4. Walton came in, it was 54-54. Since that point, the Bruins have run off 16 points, the Wolfpack only four. So Keith Wilkes gets two more, and it's 71-56, a 15-point lead for UCLA with six minutes to play in the ball game. Great pass to Thompson. What a leaper he is. Give it back to Burleson. Unselfish ball player. The hook misses. Rebound. Three Bruins there to get it. Myers having a little trouble handling it, though. Saves it. Crowd wanted traveling. Call against Dave Myers. Can't call traveling unless you got control of the ball. Look at that Monty Tower. Get after Tommy Curtis, would you? Walton comes out to help. Big red. Dave Myers is 34. Bruins with a big 15-point lead now. Going to take their time. Try to force North Carolina State into the mistakes, into foul. Because they're now in the bonus and the Bruins full time. So with five minutes and 20 seconds to play in the ball game, UCLA leads by 15, 71-56. I'm really so things that makes me different from every other man. But I cannot show you. Because it's a fragrance. A fragrance that's different on every man who wears it. This new cologne called Montreal. Montreal. It's designed to mix with a man's body chemistry to give every man who wears it a different scent. If you want to be remembered, wear what I'm wearing. Montreal. When I was a kid, my old man, the tailor, bought me two, three pair of pants a year. Summer, winter, same stuff. But always fair of pants, because they hardly ever wore out. But now, this kid of mine has to have dozens. Flares, low-rise, high-rise, knits, cords, matching tops. What's a father to do? I tell him, buy Farrah's. For 13 bucks, I can't touch him. And I'm the fastest needle in town. Fair of pants at 10 to $30. Next best thing to tailor-made. Maybe better. The white-clad UCLA Bruins coming back and Bill Walton stays in the lineup. And note the camaraderie between Drolinger and Walton. As Walton rooted for him and Rod, Drolinger is out there wishing him the best. He's got four fouls since when he came on the floor. North Carolina State banged one in to tie it at 54-54. And since that point, Norm Sloan's team, Norm suffers a little right now. The Bruins have run off to a 71-56 lead, 15 points. Turgovich takes it in, shoots, misses, rebound David Thompson. Thompson, brilliant play. Outside to Rivers. Rivers drives, misses the shot. Turgovich rebounds for the Bruins. David Thompson, 6-4, going up above the basket on the backboard to clear that rebound. You know, Turgovich is on quite a way to quite a game today. Oh, yes, he certainly has. Just played an outstanding ball game. Keith Wilkes, fouled by David Thompson. Wolfpack now in the posture where they have got to gamble and make some mistakes in the process of gambling. Three personal fouls on David Thompson. Wilkes will go to the line, one plus one. And UCLA is a type of team that uh, when you take a chance, they make you pay for it. And yes. pay and pay and pay. <laughs> this is Keith's biggest uh, output of the year. Of course, he uh, has been this way because Walton left the uh, first half with uh, 11 minutes to play and came back into the ball game with 10 minutes to play. And during that interim, Wilkes carried the scoring. He makes two. He has 27, and it's 73-56, a 17-point lead, and the Wolfpack has just gone flat in their scoring. The ball is knocked away from Hawkins. We've got a whistle and a foul called on David Myers. Dave Myers of UCLA. Whistle for the foul. That's three personals on him, and it should be four team fouls. But the Bruins are yet to get into the bonus. They hold a whopping 17-point lead as Hawkins handles the ball outside, number 14. Thompson, watch Thompson against Wilk. Both of them have been brilliant today. Good by David Thompson. Bruins and White. Tommy Curtis being double-teamed. Lobs to front court to Keith Wilkes. Passes to Myers. He'll take it in. Burleson up, blocks it. Four fouls on Tom Burleson. And the man from the Atlantic Coast Conference called the foul. Take another look. Here's Myers going. Now watch Burleson. Ride him up. 
Men from Atlantic Coast Conference called it. I said that, didn't I? Inside, Walton blocks it. Burleson screams, and it's out of bounds. It'll be North Carolina State's ball off Walton. Tommy wanted a whistle on Bill. Didn't get it. Four minutes and 12 seconds to play in a game. 75-58 UCLA. And it goes to Burleson. Walton got to put his hands in his pocket. Didn't do it, did he? Blocked it. Burleson puts it up. Traveling. No basket. He's frustrated. He's also mad. Uh, I'd say he's a little upset, uh, <laughs> Tom Burton. I think he's bothered a little bit. What an intensive, competitive thing this has been. Keith Wolf stirs the ball in the front court to Turkovich, and he'll hold it up with 3.57 to play in the game, 75-58, 17-point lead for UCLA. Going for win number 79 in a row inside the Walton. North Carolina State came in with 29 consecutive wins officially. brings it outside as the Bruins go into the movement. They're holding on to the ball. As we watch them work it. Let me tell you about what's going to happen on New Year's Eve here on ABC. We got a whistle. We got a foul. It's on Monty Tao. As he stepped in the clock the traffic gets called for his fourth personal foul. And he got stepped on for his trouble. Wait a minute. Not on town. It can't be on town. 25, was it? There's 25 Turkovich charging. Yeah, 25 he stepped, on, pretty, he stepped right. on it pretty good. So New Year's Eve, uh, football game of the year. David Thompson has it checked away, and Tao puts it up and gets one. So Monty hits one as North Carolina State finally breaks their scoring drought at 75 to 60. 14 points for Tao. Alabama and Notre Dame undefeated square off in the Sugar Bowl. At 8 Eastern Time, New Year's Eve, and you'll see it all live and in color here on ABC. Well, you've seen the unbeaten powerhouses of collegiate basketball square off today on ABC's Wide World of Sports. David Myers on a drive. The ball is pinned by Burleson. Go pending ball. Now, you can pin the ball in college basketball on the board if you get it going up. He didn't get it going up. Here it is. See? Ball started down when he hit it. I'll tell you one thing, he had to stop hustling. Turkovich goes out of the ball game. Greg Lee come no, he hasn't. Greg Lee comes in, change for UCLA. Big guys played very well for the goes in two points. And it's 77 to 62 now with two minutes and 34 seconds to play in the ball game. Burleson has 11 points. Walton playing with four personals. Got to be careful. But he has not put his hands in his pockets on defense. Today. He's been right in there scuffing. Greg Lee, senior, poised out of receipt of California. He's in there to handle the ball. Go to Walton. Back to Lee. Split the defense. Burleson pinned it. That time it was legal. Great play, Burleson. And the back comes out of there with it. Tao loses. Hawkins picks it up. He'll shoot. He won't get it. Rebound, Tommy Curtis for the Bruins. Dave Myers has gone, I guess, all the way, hasn't he, today for UCLA. Runs by him, but they'll take their time. A minute and 52 seconds to play. 77-62, 15-point lead. UCLA's Greg Lee is fouled by Mo Rivers of North Carolina State. And Mark Moeller will return to the lineup for the fact. Tower goes out. So North Carolina State's 29-game win streak is about to be broken with only a 146 showing on the clock. The Bruins leading by 15. Unless something happens. The roof will have to fall in, I would think. Or something. We'll be right back. The rally of the Acropolis. It's not exactly your average road rally. It's over 2,000 miles of pure punishment. Considered by many the toughest championship rally in all of Europe. So tough that this year, 98 cars started, 14 finished. We ran it on passenger car tires, tires you can buy for your own car. The Sears steel belted radial with radial design for road-holding traction. Two steel belts for strength and durability. And in this torturous test of car and driver, this car came through among the top finishers on Sears steel-belted radials. The same kind of tires that have gone over 70,000 highway miles on a car like yours. The mileage you get depends on how you drive. 
the Sears steel-belted radial, proven for toughness, traction, and mileage on the tough roads of the world. Only at Sears. If in the next few moments of uh, procedure as we run out the time on the clock, we don't have time to say it. I want to take the time to say it right now, that these are two enormously impressive basketball teams made up of impressive individuals. And I'll tell you right now that this North Carolina State Ball Club is going to make things awful interesting down along Tobacco Road. And, of course, you've got North Carolina. The Tar Heels are tough this year, and the University of Maryland is tough. They've proven it already. And then you've got the Duke Blue Devils, who are always uh, tormentors down there, too. Wake Forest. I mean, it's a tough league, but UCLA's... Folks out there on the West Coast, they fight with aren't too easy either. The Oregon, Oregon State. So it's going to be a great college basketball season, particularly involving these two teams. And there are some other good ones around. And Keith Brooks is going out. He gets a standing ovation. At least he yeah. does from the UCLA folks. Uh, he was pretty good today, I'd say. <laughs> <laughs> you know, he did a good job on David Thompson. Plus, um, he really took over the game for UCLA when uh, Walton was out. Keith Wilkes has gone all the way to this point. Now he gets a chance to sit down with 27 points, and he was just outstanding, sitting there with Ducky Drake, the trainer. Give him a drink of water, Ducky. He's earned it. Greg Lee is on the line, 78-62, now 79. It's a 17-point lead. And there he is, son of a preacher man from Santa Barbara, California, fine student, an outstanding young man, had a brilliant career at UCLA. David Thompson loses the ball, cleared out of there by number 50, who's in the lineup now, replacing... Wilkes, Gary Franklin. Burleson takes it in. Rammed in underneath the basket. Walton blocked it. And the Wolfpack fans holler. They want it goaltending or a foul call. Marcus Johnson is number 54. Freshman. Here is Andre McCarter. He pumps one up and in. Bruins have now hit 80. 81-62. 19-point lead. We are coming up on a minute to play in the ball game. David Thompson shoots a rainbow, won't go. Burleson rebounds it. Ball is taken away from him by Greg Lee. Pass to head to McCarter, and he scores. It's now become academic. The UCLA Bruins have won their 79th consecutive basketball game, the most incredible win streak in all of sports, in my opinion. Shot is up by Thompson and goes in. Yeah, it's not a bad streak, Keith. 79. 79 consecutive games in a, in, a, in a sport that is as intense, as fickle, as frustrating. And watch this block by Walter. Watch it. He's right there waiting. He must be illegal. You can't hang in the air that long. Defying gravity. <laughs> 30 seconds to play in a ball game, and there is the Wizard of Westwood, John Wooden. You know, uh, when he blocked that shot, it looked like his hand was inside the rim. <laughs> it did look like it, didn't it? Pass to Walton. Walton is fouled by Hawkins. Hawkins takes a wallop as he goes banging into the uh, support, too. He got a post for his effort. <laughs> yeah. You know, I, I, we were looking through the book a while ago, and you could sit here and talk for a couple of days about both these basketball coaches, Norm Sloan of North Carolina State and John Wooden. There is a line in one of the uh, books put out by the school, the UCLA, called The Wooden Years, and the line is from John Green, an All-American, back in 1962. And his comment off his playing days with John Wooden, he said, I'd rather boast about having played for John Wooden than boast about having been an All-American. That's quite a tribute. Shot comes off, picked up by the Bruins. They control it, 84-64. Since Bill Walton came in, back into the ball game at 9.54 to go in the game, UCLA has outscored North Carolina State 29-12. Tom Tau intercepts it, five seconds. Ahead to Mo Rivers. Mo scores. Three, two, the ball game is over. The UCLA Bruins have defeated the North Carolina State University Wolfpack 84-66. Joseph Rothlader, technical director at National Astro Laboratories, is about to help demonstrate the remarkable riding stability of the 74 Mercury Montego, an economical, personal-sized car designed to ride like a big car. Here in the rear seat, Mr. Rothlader will attempt to assemble a tiny one-and-a-half-inch TV set like this one while in motion. Ready? Let's go. There are 146 components. 204 individual operations, all by hand, 
It takes skill, concentration, and a steady work surface. This demonstration at speeds from 20 to 65 miles per hour is supervised by Nationwide Consumer Testing Institute. Montego combines the economy of a midsize car with the luxury and riding comfort of a big car. Now, after over 16 hours, the set is assembled. Will it work? Let's see. Car works. Mercury Montego, the personal size car designed to give you the riding comfort of a big car. You'll get the picture at the sign of the cat. John Wooden, standing, contemplating, having watched his team win their 79th consecutive basketball game, defeating North Carolina State University 84-66. But the final score does not tell you the real character of the ball game. Yes, that was, uh, well, you think it's an 18 point game was a tough, hard fought ball game that, that UCLA kept the pressure on the whole game, in spite of the fact that Walton was out most of the first half and most of the second half. And they kept the pressure on, they kept the pressure on, and when he came back, he just busted open, and uh, that's the story. Russ, well, enjoyed being with you again. Good luck to you. Oh, I need it. I need it bad. <laughs> okay, babe. Final score, UCLA 84, North Carolina State 66. Keith Jackson along with Bill Russell saying so long from St. Louis, Missouri. Travel arrangements made through, promotional fee paid by United Airlines, chosen for travel by more sports teams than any other airline. Preceding a presentation of ABC Sports, recognized around the world as the leader in sports television.